everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to the 1212 portal how's everyone feeling energy has been pretty intense today here in uh, Houston as well it's been dark and gloomy but it, it just felt really really heavy so from now until 1221 the winter solstice this gateway is gonna be open influx of energy pounding through I think it's gonna be more intensified as we move towards the winter solstice so here are some tips um, on how to find some sense of relief through all this energy, right? Even me with all this mold of my, like it's becoming more intense and I feel it. Um, so one, if you are in the home and just feel like congested and heavy, remember our internal energies, the even the deeper layers are coming up to the surface. So if you are having breakdowns, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, mm, illnesses uh, show up, body symptoms, right, pains and aches, just remember energies are coming up to the surface to be released. And unless we find an outlet for it to release, it's gonna feel very uncomfortable, okay? It's wanting you to, it's needing an outlet to leave. So whatever vessel, right, uh, do the internal work. You got the tools to do whatever you need to do to find some sense of relief. So here's uh, a tip you can do on the physical world. Open up a window. Our home is container, right, of energy. So this ties in with the Feng Shui. The front door or the door we enter through the most is where energy flows through and it's dispersed within the home. And this energy is gonna move throughout the years based on the how the stars align, okay? So for right now, what all you need to do is if you're feeling very congested in the home, open up the windows. And you may find it just feels a sense of relief. Uh, another thing you can do is start purging within the home your material items. Because the material items is the last form of the manifested energy coming out. So donate clothes, throw away junk, right? Because whatever you, we own are extensions of our energy. We work to earn the money, we exchange our energy to make money, and then we take our money and then buy material items, which is an exchange of our energy. So any material items you feel like mm, maybe you got at a lower state of frequency or it brings it triggers a really sad memory or heavy energy, especially especially beds. Beds, pillows, uh, old shoes, anything that holds sweat tends to hold the old energy of us. Uh, sofas, anything big tends to hold a lot of our old energy. So you may walk into a room and it just feels like you get a hit of this, wow, it's feeling really dark and heavy in here. Observe what's in the room, okay? And sometimes the energy just moves to certain parts of the home where it's just congested in the area, okay? So a uh, little tip for you, open up a window or donate and throw away some junk. Uh, or you can sell some stuff, um, but that is one. Now, second, as far as the body goes, you know, uh, material items is already manifest in the real world. Now, we can, what we can do on the physical body. I noticed I've been craving a lot of um, sparkling water as if my body is trying to burp out a lot of things, okay? You can drink a sparkling water, because air and gas within our body is trying to leave too. So if you're feeling like bloated, congested, or really bad eating habits lately, I noticed like two, three weeks ago, very, very intense, intense uh, cravings for like heavy, dense food, carbs, heavy meat, and then just this past week, all of that went, a majority of that went away. The cravings like cut more, cut more out more than half. And it's interesting because these waves are coming through very powerfully where you, we start to notice, wow, this is what's happening. It's so intense that all of a sudden it just leaves. So how to purge the body? Uh, drink sparkling water if there's something within your body needs to purge. You can burp it out, air, gas, okay? Two, uh, take an Epsom salt bath. That typically 
releases a lot of energy too, especially uh, in the shower, right? All this water, all this steam, you know, we tend to channel a lot in the shower. So if you take a take some time off for yourself, take a salt bath, relax in the shower, and then energy is going to move through your body, absorb through the salt. Salt absorbs negative energy. And then you're going to channel stuff. And you can do some clearings in the shower and the bath as well. So shower is a good place to, place to purge and then channel. Uh, what else? Or you could do third one for the, within the body is... Uh, is to detox. You can fast for uh, a few days, intermittent fasting, or just do a cleanse. Okay. Food. The food we in the food we intake is also a factor on the accumulation of the energy within our body. So you got the environment. Open up a window. Clean the house. Purge the material items. Is one. Two. The body. Uh, do whatever within your body, cleanse, detox, maybe a haircut. Uh, hair holds also holds memory. Um, the food we eat, we eat, take a bath, Epsom salt. So the, that is part of the body, physical body. So the last tip is cleansing on the spirit side. Okay. So a lot of the energies that are coming up that is triggering us mentally and emotionally are signs for us to look internal. If you're getting triggered, if you're feeling certain strong emotions toward a certain person, event, circumstances, those are uh, clues on what's inside that we haven't addressed. So if you haven't watched yesterday's video, I uh, walked through a few some tips on an allowance exercise, you know, allowing ourselves to feel certain emotions that we suppressed. So if you want to learn more about that, watch yesterday's ep episode. But, you know, certain emotions that we we judge others on or our parents at our state, at their state of consciousness raising us, may be our highest state of consciousness at one point in time. But as we expand to a higher state of consciousness, those, uh, those point of views, those the way of looking at life no longer aligns with our expanded state of consciousness, right? Like, oh, uh, you know, allow yourself to feel irresponsible. Allow yourself to feel judged. Allow yourself to feel abandoned or rejected. Allow yourself to feel to need to rest. Like, it's okay, okay? So all the things that we don't allow ourselves to feel, remember, these are feelings, emotions, lodged deep within the body. Then the moment that you start allowing yourself to feel these emotions, you're going to start noticing they're going to start to dissipate. It's basically, it's basically allowing you to feel from a state of unconditional love. Just by saying that, you can just feel this release, right? You know, I love you no matter what. I love you even if you are irresponsible. I love you even if you feel rejected. So what's happening now is us at this state of consciousness stepping in and replacing the, the parent that raised us at a lower state of consciousness way back when, okay? When we are during our childhood years. So uh, that's a little tip for you. Just allow yourself to feel. Now, uh, there's two more hours until eight o'clock tonight. Uh, if you want some assistance doing deeper healings, I'm gonna do a mold of our Reiki in about two hours. So if you catch this video in time, come join us. Signups are in the description below. But brace, embrace yourself for this journey, this intense energies. It's whatever's happening in our reality is happening for us. If it's coming up, it's on the way out. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, come join us tonight. It's going to be happening in two hours, more than by Reiki. And uh, if you can't join us, then follow these different tips on how to release as all these energies are coming through. So sending everyone here love and light and uh, enjoy the ride for this 12 12 portal in this next upcoming a week and a half, two weeks until the winter solstice. Other than that, sending everyone here love and light and I'll see you for the next episode. Let me do.